In this video, I will talk about layout in AutoCAD. How can we change its size? How is it different from the model space? And also, how can we create a new one? My name is Jay, and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube, and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's dive in. I'm using a floor plan that I created before for our reference. I'll leave you a link if you want to watch how I put this together step by step. But anyway, back to the layout. So the first thing I would like you to understand about the layout um, is that layouts are part of the paper space, while the model space, which is where we work and we do our drawing essentially, is more of like the model space is the drawing space and it has infinite space in it essentially. So here you could put all your drawings, you can zoom out as much as you want and zoom in as much as you want, while the layout has a specific size, okay? So it's not infinite, it has to be a specific size and usually we assign it like one of the common sizes for papers. To change the layout size, you need to do that from a, men a window called the page setup. And to access that, we're gonna right click on the layout. And then from here, you can choose edit page setup. And we will get essentially this window where we can change the paper size. AutoCAD drawings by default usually come with one layout and in that, inside that layout comes with a viewport. So I'll cancel this one and I'll show you what I mean. So if I click the plus sign right here, we will get a new layout. And as you can see, this should be the default that you see. And you will get this window, the viewport that shows us a portion of the model space or the drawing space. And this is the default. And to switch its size, like I mentioned, we'll do that from the page setup. And then from here, we will change to a size that works for us. For example, ArcD, we will click OK. And now we have the, the another, a different paper size essentially for this layout. I just showed you earlier how to add a new layout and it's essentially by clicking the plus button over here and you can create as many as you want. And usually by default, their size is the letter size, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. So you wanna modify that or if you wanna keep working with it, you can keep it that way. You can also duplicate an existing layout if you want, so you don't have to redo the setup. For example, since I've already set up this layout and I have the viewport with the right size and I've inserted a title plot, I don't want to insert the title block again or do the page setup again. So what I would do instead is right click on this one from the bottom and then from here I will choose duplicate and this will create another layout matching the one that I had. The next thing I want to talk about is the viewport. So like I mentioned, by default, each layout will come with a new, like with an existing viewport. And then this one, you can basically modify it to show us a different size or to show us like a different portion of the model space. You can activate it by double clicking. And then from here, you can actually zoom in to look at the drawing that you want. And then if you want to assign it a specific scale, you can do it from the bottom right. And then from here, I will tell it to show me my floor plan in a quarter inch scale, and this is good to go. The next thing I wanna show you is how to create a new viewport. So what you can do, I will just deactivate this current view. I will right click while I'm on the paper. And then from here, what I will choose essentially is a new viewport. And once you click on that, uh, you'll be prompted to draw a window. So I'll click from here to here, and that will create another window. And you can create as many as you want. Usually you would create a few viewports to show one would show the floor plan, for example, and another one would show, for example, the roof plan that I created here, like this. So that way I have multiple viewports. The last thing I wanna show you about the layout is essentially printing to a PDF and also changing something called the plot style. To print, all we need to do is actually type a print or plot so I will do that. And then we will get this window, which is very similar to the page setup we were looking at earlier when we were setting the paper size. You can also use this window to change the paper size, but anyway, we will use it right now to save to a PDF or to print. So we can change the printer from here and then choose DWG to PDF. But since we're already on a Mac, we actually have the option to click just save as PDF. And then from here, you will get a window asking you where to save this document and you would click save there and that will save it there. I usually don't use this option because I like to use the other option which, is, which says preview. So from here, what I will do is actually uh, to switch to DWG to PDF. The reason I wanna do that is to be able to use the preview feature and I'll show you in a second why. So 
So from here, DWG to PDF, now we have the preview option. And when you click that, it will automatically or immediately essentially do a quick print and show you it on a PDF. Now, as you can see, this result came out in color and usually the printing happens using black and white or monochrome. And that would be the last thing I will cover in this video. To tell AutoCAD to print to black and white, we need to change this from the plot style. So back to AutoCAD, see this window right here on the bottom, we will switch it to say, instead of print as displayed, we will switch to monochrome. And then I will choose apply to layout and then I will do the preview again. And now we get this result where we see everything in black and white or the result that everyone usually wanna get. If this video helped you today, please like and subscribe. And if something didn't make sense, please leave me a question in the comments and I'll do my best to help you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.